What's happening in Union? You didn't get so many in Union, you're saving up for league. <laughs> That's one of the one of the reasons I sort of left. Thanks, mate. A good crowd down there around uh, Scott Goulet and uh, Johnny Pidd. Pretty busy place for an interview it was. Uh, Scott Goulet certainly did have a good game amongst uh, quite a few good St George players today, but let's find out who was Beetson's best. You're simply the best. And I the hard-working hooker, Trevor Bailey. Very busy game today in a dummy half. It's uh, Arthur Beetson's best, and uh, Arthur, I guess, uh, pretty hard to come up with the best player on the field, but Trevor Bailey certainly did put in the effort. Well, Trevor had a great game, so did Scott Gourlay and uh, also Peter Gill. Uh, they worked very hard, their forwards, but uh, it wasn't any great game to enthuse over, was it? No, I'd say uh, both sides uh, will feel that they're going to have to pick it up a lot if they're going to go on with the job from here. Well, Albert will sleep a lot better tonight, there's no doubt about that, but uh, uh, I think he's got some problems, Steve Martin, there. They, uh, Played very poorly last week and they didn't play all that well today. You're right, they just scrambled in against Illawarra last week and today it wasn't a very inspiring effort. Let's have a look at the third try scored by St George today. Short. Bailey. Tries to go wide, slips a pass away. It's a try to St George. Mick Potter has scored. A try scored there by Mick Potter and a good work by Trevor Bailey. Beatson's best for the match today. But some good efforts by some of the younger players there today, uh, particularly uh, the uh, replacement player, Matthew Elliott, I thought, well, had a 